All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. Today, we are playing the Nordics. Like, uh, I got trolled, and we're stuck with it, but I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to quit on you guys. We are playing Nordics, and with Nordics, uh, of course, uh, we're trying new things to make them viable. The last time we tried PK Fire and while it was kind of milly and kind of sacky, I could only do one thing. This time, we're actually trying to perform a pals because this engine's just so powerful. I activate another perform a pal, draw a card, do plays. So, I opened up at least a Nordic play. Like, I, I can bust out a Nordic play. I can go ahead and summon this, banish these two. But I think I'm going to hold off for now and hold on to these two. But, uh, you know, with their plusing, with Guitar Turtle plusing, summoning Sorcerer, pop Pendulum, popping, searching. You know, there, there are some serious places that uh, Performing Pals can do. I thought it would add to the, the engine of Nordics, give them more resources, give them more planes, give them more uh, monsters to use as synchro materials, and uh, hopefully bust out some powerful Nordic-esque monsters, you know? Like I said, with PK5, we were definitely limited uh, how well we milled, how well the plays turned out to be at the end of the day, and sometimes we weren't getting our plays, you know, so we definitely got to admit that. But uh, now, I mean, we're, we're more Nordic based, uh, we're not mill based, so there, there's less luck on our side uh, when it comes to matters like that. And hopefully we can, we can buff out some powerful players. We're gonna go ahead and banish these two, summon them two tokens, and it is already time, people. It is already time for freaking Odin to hit the field. So, um, you know, the whole uh, Stanzi thing, and, you know, like I said, I can't control that, I apologize. Um, and we're kind of stuck with it. Like I said, I'm not going to give up as long as you guys don't give up. Because in the end of the day, while his influence and him kind of breaking the system, and, 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 and I'm just kind of mad that he, he... I'm not mad at him, per se, but I'm mad that he's not taking this seriously. You know, I, I, I take this very seriously, and he just thinks that it's just one big old joke. So that's just great. You know, I definitely should activate it in my effect because, I mean, come on, why not? It's Odin. Why not activate Odin effect? Um, and, uh, you know, I take this very seriously, this is my channel, I'm trying to entertain you guys, and while I'm, like, putting on a video saying, like, hey, what do you guys want to see, it pretty much doesn't matter, because in the end of the day, while Stanzi could just simply break the system, so I'm kind of still a little bit, uh, ticked off at that whole situation, but it's fine, because, uh, while his, uh, votes may have swayed the what decks were chosen, there were still votes for the decks, of course, so it's not like, you know, the deck had zero, you know, Nordic had zero votes, and, you know, he did, it went on, like, you know, 19 to 20 different platforms and uh, voted. No, it wasn't like that, you know, definitely wasn't like that, so, uh, while his votes didn't influence with decks one in the end, there were still votes for it, so we're gonna do, uh, Nordics, you know, the, even the person who, uh, suggested Nordics, because I don't remember, to tell you the truth, straight up, I go ahead, I take your deck suggestions, slap them on the poll, and I just delete that deck suggestion video, so I really don't remember, you know, who did what. Uh, so during your main phase, I got this card, and I become unaffected by spells and traps until the end phase. So that's pretty good. So I can go ahead and activate my Odin effect, and just have them unaffected by any of the spell and traps my opponent's playing. And I, uh, at this point, summoning Cotton Man and, you know, taking that 4,000 uh, attack on the chin like that, I'm not sure. But, uh, I mean, I guess I can go ahead and do plays like this. It's just, you know, I'm just not sure, really. You know. So if a profile card is activated in your other permanent scale, I can draw one card. So that's pretty power, you know. Let me go ahead and play Guitar Turtle. Uh, I was kind of holding off to see if I was going to draw into any other pendulum-based thing. So I can go ahead and pinch some. But that's fine, too. So I drew into Instafusion. So, uh... I'm trying to think. I, I, don't, I don't have any monsters in the graveyard. I was thinking about maybe I could go and Instafusion Norden. Norden summon this back. That'd be six. And then summon this, but that'd only be nine. And I need, of course, ten to bust out another, uh powerful uh, uh, Nordic monster, so ain't doing that. Ain't doing that. Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and summon the goat and attack. You know? Let's we'll go ahead and just wrap this duel up. So, even if he plays like Mirror Force or something, at least my Odin is uh, uh, unaffected by any spells and traps he plays. So that's good. But, uh, see, so Mirror Force, that's fine. So he survived, because he killed my monster, but you know, he still gets a giant, uh, whatever, Odin, you know, I'm not sure if he hits you with a fist, or it's, is that like a staff? That doesn't even look like a staff, like, what is that? What is this? It's like a, looks like a, kind of like a fishing rod. Uh, there's the rod, and there's the string, like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's been such a long time, we got two 5D decks, like, I, I remember, I remember Nordics off of 5Ds, I do not feel the love of Christ, remember Zushin. 
So <laughs> we got both of them here on daily bills as much as it's fine. It's fine. Like I said, I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna give up because if I do, then it's two. Then you guys win. It's, you know, we won. We clearly won. We busted out a, a, a Nordic monster, the Acer, or whatever. You know, freaking, freaking Lex is being a smartass. No Nordic Acer. Like, who cares? <laughs> I busted it out, right? <laughs> Busted it out, and uh, yeah, I didn't really get to use the Performer Pal engine, but uh, maybe next duel. So let's go ahead and get another duel. Bear back. All right, another duel. I think that this deck likes to go first. You know, with my slow searching trap card, that's more of a first. I am running the, the Mega Nimble, so that's more of a first card. Uh, you know, getting my Pendulum Scale set up, getting searches without being hindered. I mean, there's a lot of things that this deck is like. I prefer to go first, so uh, yeah. yeah. This, you know, my sorcerer with no pendulum scale ain't that strong, right? So, it's not the greatest. I'm just kind of wondering. I could, I, I could probably bust out uh, uh, Thor like next turn. It's just, you know, how I'm gonna go about it. You know, I could probably like set him, and then when he dies, if he didn't like, if he only summoned one monster to overcome, I could go ahead and summon him, turn him to defense. So I think, I think setting him, not really on my deck, would be the best. Not the best up in your hand, but it's not terrible either. It's, I mean, it's not X, what do you expect? Just, like, which the trap card, I mean, come on, the searching trap card is kind of booty, and yeah. <laughs> uh, there's no one I really want to search for right now, so. For that, 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 that I know of. Alright, so we go ahead and got the lizard draw, we got our sorcerer, so. We might be able to go ahead and draw. I mean, if I have another performance pal, you know, just Lizard Draw is really good. Turkey Tart is really good. Pendulum Summon Sorcerer, get a search is really good. So, of course, this deck has some serious plays. And I would not be surprised if my opponent ended up just quitting. So, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get that extra draw. Like, I'll go ahead and put Sorcerer. He, he, he's meant to be a, a possible Pendulum Scale. Pendulum Scale 2 is not terrible. So, I'll go ahead and just activate Lizard Draw. Go ahead and pop him, draw a card, drew into my goat, which is fine. Um. It's not one of the best cards to draw right now. I'm a little slow, but besides that, I mean, I'm going to set him and summon two tokens, so. And then, if he does nothing next turn, I mean, there we got, we got uh, Thor right there. That is definitely uh, 10. So he's going to go ahead and play Twin Twisters, pitch, pop my two cards, which I guess is fine. Definitely using that Twin Twisters as enabler to pitch that Mally. I mean, we already know the strength of that, definitely. So, um... Who should I search for? I mean, I mean, it really doesn't matter. Not really. Kinda. No. Searching for another one of you, cause I'm probably gonna end up losing you. Or I can get you and then substitute you for any Nordic. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and grab you. Cause I have a feeling that I have a Beals coming my way. Like definitely a Beals coming my way. The Mali's set up. This might be a plague. Or he might have the plague set in hand. Like. I definitely see a build. You definitely don't see Mally hitting the grave unless you're about to see some true shenanigans of the the immense proportion of just the the plague wishes combo. There we go. Obviously, <laughs> I don't know why you set it. You could have went for. I mean, you could still go for a double play. It's kind of risky to go ahead and set that, but that's fine. So, so go ahead and put that back. Then Mally summon back again, and then look at that double sync eight. Look at that power. None, nothing that none of my uh, my Nordics can't handle, people. Wow, wow! I didn't see that coming. Oh, yeah, you could do that. I just didn't see it coming. <laughs> so, tribute him off, summon him back. Like, all right, I thought we were just gonna double, double sync eight. Like, no, we're gonna fucking go off this turn. Like, this is that is not a freaking just a sync eight deck. This is fucking arc fiends to the max. Like, oh fucking shit, this man, this man. <laughs> This man, like, he, he, he opened up fucking hella titties. Damn! All three of them? I, I don't think I could beat all three of them. Like, sorry, my Nordic monsters aren't that strong. <laughs> so, my horse died. So, I guess that's fine. Because even if I summon, I'm still going to die. Like, but wow, wow. I, I thought the plague was going to be there. As soon as I saw the pitch of Mali, but I didn't think the rest of the shenanigans were going to be there either. They say when monsters destroy the violence into the graveyard, so even if I summon now, I'm probably still fucked. Like, I guess I'll go ahead and activate you and summon. I'm not going to summon you in attack mode, because I'm still, you know, getting jumped by all three of them, though? <laughs> like, wow, he opened up just so well. 
And then I guess that doesn't matter because I'm still going to be go ahead and blown up and take that damage. So, is there anything I can do? I can summon you and I can... Uh, the rest of the single materials have to be Nordic monsters, just fine. So I can bust something out and it can be stronger, it's just... You know, I probably have to kill hot. You can't do anything to me but negate me, but I'm not doing anything, you know? And you, you're not doing anything either. So if I just normal summon you and go into, uh, I guess it would be Odin or Thor. I mean, it really isn't Odin, definitely, because I wouldn't crash. So let's see if I can actually just do this play. Just go into Odin, and with Odin, I'm stronger than anything he has on the field. If I kill that Scar right, Synchro Summon, Odin, Tower, let's go. There's nothing in the grave. You're the only threat because you can wipe me. And then wait, I thought you don't don't get to be loud. It's a lesson attack then, so you can't even wipe me. You can't negate me because there's nothing to negate. Like I'm just four thousand, and you, I mean, you contribute to get something back. It might be best just to kill you so you don't continue contributing shit like that. Because I don't care about you, and I don't care about you. So, so did we just actually like, despite this man dropping the fucking shit and summoning all three fucking art streams right now, I summoned fucking. Odin on your ass? Like, let's go! Odin! Yes! <laughs> so, Odin, I guess go ahead and slap fucking uh, Bane so he doesn't trip it off anymore. I don't care about this. I don't care about this. So, just big old giant Odin here. I'm like, take this, Jack! Woo! <laughs> See, we're doing it, people! We're doing it! <laughs> so... As I said, we'll, we'll deal with it for the next month, like I said. I, I think that PK Nordics was fine, but I think the Performer Pound, as long as I get more cards, I can, maybe I gotta tweak the engine a little bit. Uh, right now, I'm definitely going, of course, Skull Crow, Bat Joker, Monkey Lord. Uh, three Sorcerers, three Lizard Draw, and I'm doing three Guitar Turtles just to make sure I get it, so I can play it and draw. And then I'm playing, I think, two of this little sheet level 5 one that has a Pendulum Scale of 1, because I believe there's some 2s in here that I can Pendulum Summon as well. So that's where I'm running. Um, I was like, let's go with the Perform Pal engine. I was thinking about maybe going to the, the, the Magician engine, but then I was like, no, because then just have the Magician engine. I want to do something unique for all three, all the decks, you know? So, bam! To defense mode, people! To defense mode! Oh my god, can I only activate one of these thrones per turn? Yeah, you can only activate one. Uh, I, Rock, I, that sucks. I was like, I was like, if I can activate two of these, like, I could go ahead and Synchro Summon into your freaking Thor 2. Like, that'd be power. That'd be fucking power, but no. I can only have to eat one once per turn, only once that turn, so that kind of sucks. Uh, I could go into a Sync 7. Like, is there any 7 that I might want to go into? Moonlight might be good, knowing his deck. Like, that'd be pretty power. Like, just attack over, uh, Scar Right. I mean, Abyss, and then main phase 2, summon him, Rock Eyes or summon him, go into Moonlight, bounce him. Like, that'd be power, because, of course, he can negate me with Abyss, so. Abyss, you're dead. Bounce you with Moonlight, and then Moonlight, every single time he summons, or I mean, thinks about going to his, uh, one of his archery cards, bounce him too. So, that, that'd be pretty power. That'd be pretty power, I must say, so. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, especially something like Target, if you do go to these launches, blah, blah, blah. Oh, they're not beasts. No, because Zombie World. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I was like, I was like, is there something, some reason I can't play this? I don't have any beasts. These are all zombies. Like, fucking zombie world. Like, that zombie world play was power too. Like, this man, this man over here opened up just everything to handle this situation. I mean, it's not to say, he has two cards. There's, there's not to say that he can't turn this duel around. But he, you know, he's, every single card in his hand was just so useful. Like, the Twin Twister, the, the Mizuki the Malicious, like, to pull off them trip, that triple play. That triple play, that turkey, that was that was power though. It's pretty powerful. Kind of shocked the hell out of me, but nah, I could just outbeat you with the power of Odin, the father. <laughs> uh, so I mean, I am running twin twisters, so there's a chance I can get my twin twisters and pop the zombie world. But I mean, it's not that serious. I just think that if I'd be able to bust out Moonlight right now, it would just ha hamper him even more, because he him one trying to sync out something on me is just not gonna work. Oh yeah, here it is the the mutton, the rubber mutton. So if I can go ahead and just get, you know, another pendulum scale, I can go ahead and summon sorcerer, pop pop, get my search, and, you know, go back to, go to town on his ass. So, that's really all, that's just all I need, so. I was like, let me play one rubber mutton, because it's pendulum scale one, and 
Uh, I believe my pendulum scales are between one and six. So six. If this isn't my extra deck. I can summon it. So in case I ever do need to use the synchro material, it's there. And once per turn, when attacking the wall, the monster you control and the opponent's monster you can activate. Discard the monster you control. You can't be destroyed by that battle. So even on the pendulum scale effect is not terrible. It blocked me from uh, dying by battle. So, and I mean a generic pendulum scale one. Sure, there's not a lot of those, and usually if they are, they're really uh, uh you know archetype specific and restricted. But this, nope, rubber mutton, nope. And I believe rubber mutton was played recently in the show. All right. Some of that necroface put everything back. Like, okay, so plague and I mean he still got these now since those are back, he's got that Mally. I was like, he's got that Mally again. Yeah. Some of that Mally. You got something? You got something to handle my Odin? Soul charge! Ah You can't you can't win without that broke charge though. Like, alright, so Yep, summon all that back. Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming he's gonna go ahead and bust out a powerful synchro monster to handle Odin. That would work. I mean, that would definitely handle it. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to envision what he's gonna do. Soul charge, just mm, win more, win more. <laughs> like, the only reason I'm even remotely like doing well in this duel is because I was able to bust out Odin. If I wasn't able to bust out Odin. You know, I, I would have been dead by now. <laughs> this duel would have been over. Alright, so you can sink five, sink seven. Go into like moonlight with these two. Moonlight bounce me when I wanted to moonlight bounce you. No, sink five. Go into Excel Synchron. Okay. Send the Jet Synchron. Okay. I didn't even know you played Jet, jet Synchron, but apparently you do. And then make these into a uh, uh, rank six, I'm assuming. Like a M7 bounce me, that would suck. That would suck. That would suck the big one. Beatrice, okay. So then can then detach to send a card from the deck to the graveyard. Send level eater, okay. I don't know where you're going with this. Then you can summon level eater, summon jet synchron. You still have Mali, I believe. Okay, send quick draw, summon back Jet Synchron. Okay. Summon level leader, eat a level off. Okay. That was level 9. Maybe a rank 9 play? No. Formula, draw a card. Okay. Like, where are we going with this? <laughs> okay. Definitely gonna kill that Bane again. Like, it sucks that he just. Soul charge, and now I got it. all my hard work over this the past couple of turns just reset. Like that sucks. That sucks. I gotta kill Bane so he doesn't tribute off the summon another Archfiend, then kill off freaking Archfiend. Him. All right, summon him back. That's fine. I mean, you could use effect to destroy Beatrice, and I take 500 if you want to. No. All right. So in the end of the day, we're right back where we fucking started. Like, oh my god. <laughs> so I guess I'll be killing Bane. You're not a threat, you're not a threat, you're not a threat, like, and then maybe I can Twin Twister, it really depends. I might Twin Twister in a turn or two, not this turn, not next turn, because, you know, we still have a base that can negate me. So go ahead and kill that Bane, and because of Soul Charge, because Broken Ass Soul Charge, we're right back where we started, back to square one. This man's right back in the duel with all three of his monsters, because thank you, Soul Charge. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Ah, uh, Soul Charge, you, you, you're a piece of shit, you know that? You, you're a piece of real shit. <laughs> no, that's fine. So, detach, send a monster. Is it send a monster? Send Mizuki, alright, so. There's definitely gonna be some shenanigans, because uh, we're all zombies, so. We can go ahead and summon that back. That's not annoying at all. <laughs> that's not annoying at all. <laughs> Still has a, music, a malicious play. Because he put malicious back with Necroface. So that's annoying. There's a Mizuki play. Just god damn it. God damn it, Bobby. Now I'm not trying to really what I need. Like I need I need, my, I need to set up my pendulum skills. Like where's my where's my where's my fucking skull curl joker? Like, let's go. 
I'm gonna skull card by a Joker, Pendulum Summon, and go off on this man. Like, alright. Like, am I really gonna get beat because this man keeps on drawing into shit? That's pretty good. It's kind of fucking synchro use. Of oh, he drew into the other Mally. Alright. Okay. You level off. Still trying to figure out what you're doing. I think five. Ah, oh, ah, oh, the top deck. Yep, there goes my fucking shit. Yep. Wow. Wow. I had this duel. I was doing fine, and then he just ripped Soul Charge, then proceeded to rip tuning and make Jet Synchro and bounce me. I'm like, wow, that sucks. Wow. That sucks. Mm. Yep, summon them back, and then all of them attack me. Damn, that sucks. It's just my luck, isn't it? Doesn't matter if you blow up or not. Like, wow. Wow. I, I surrender. Wow. <laughs> I was like, what can you do, Jet Synchro Jet Warrior? Like, oh yeah. Yeah, because you just happen to be running him in that weird ass deck of yours. Alright. Uh, I feel like one more duel. So, bear right back. I think maybe I should throw in the Draco engine. Maybe it's not just enough for the perform pal engine. We need the Draco pal engine for more shenanigans. Cause it is this isn't working so gracefully. As gracefully as I would like for it to work, no? Uh, I mean, I got Guitar Turtle. I get that, uh, Sorcerer or something like along those lines who might be able to do something. But two Guitar Turtles? I want to summon that and lock myself out of this, uh, Pendulum summoning this duel. Like, yeah, I mean, of course, Faith Off is at one, Luster is at one, but even the Pendulum scales are pretty powerful, Master and Vector, so... It might be best just to go ahead and run the Draco engine. Take out a couple of the Nordic cards and run that. Cause I believe there's only like I want to say like 12 or 13 uh, performer pal monsters. So, all right, all right. So we can definitely go ahead and do something now. We can go ahead and normal summon that powerful uh, Skull Crobat Joker, who will hopefully get off his uh, search. If not, then all right, just back to square one. All right, I did. If I can search Monkey Board, Monkey Board can go ahead and search me Sorcerer, then play uh, Guitar Turtle, draw off of that Pendulum Summon. Cert, pop, pop, search, search, so we might actually have some uh, powerful plays here, so. As long as I don't get stopped. Yeah. So, what do you say? If a pendant form of power card is activating and traditional draw card, so I need to activate Guitar Turtle first, then activate Monkey Board, and not fuck this up. Put in Pendulum Scale. <laughs> then Guitar Turtle, draw a card, Monkey Board, you get a search. Or for sorcerer, like we we got some power, we got some power under our belt. So pendulum scale between one and six. So I can go ahead and pendulum summon everybody, and possibly, possibly, I got a two. I got some, I got some, some fours. I I think I can do it. I think I can go ahead and do it. So we'll go ahead and summon. So we got you. We're gonna summon you, of course. We're gonna summon you, and we are going to summon. You're my tuner. You guys are also tuners, so I really don't need you guys. To summon you, th you two, pop you two, search you two, off of you, and then synchro summon with you guys. But yeah, I think that's fine. Sorcerer and this bitch. And sorcerer effect, pop you two. You guys go back to the extra deck for me, and then I'll get a search. So, that's pretty power. See, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, wow. Huge revolution is motherfucking over, people. Wow. Didn't see that coming. That kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> huge motherfucking... Huge revolution is over. Like, it's not a terrible card, but... Like, wow. Didn't see that coming at all. Like... Is it frozen? Did he, like, quit? Like, I went to battle, and now I can't do anything. Like, what the fuck? If you had told me that I was gonna get hit with the huge revolution is over and I tried to pop my own shit, like, nah, nah. <laughs> Alright, I think it's frozen. Yeah, it feels frozen. Because he's not doing anything. I can't click my card, I can't attack, so. If I hit the surrender button? No, it's frozen. I can't even hit the surrender button. Alright, one more duel. Okay, why'd your pro kinda crash there? Like, it crashed, and I logged back in, and there was no one hosting, so I waited a couple minutes, and then everybody's back on. It's like, okay. Anyway, wow, I can't believe I got hit with that huge revolution is over, though. Like, it was over when I got hit with that huge revolution is over. Holy crap. 
Uh, once again, like, sometimes I open up great with the deck, and then sometimes, like, I, I think I need to play the Draco engine. Like, the Performer Power engine, uh, you know, I don't have the Pepe engine, so, you know, throwing the Draco engine, that one face-off, play my luck. I think, I think Vector's a Pendulum Scale one, so I won't we'll have to run that. So I guess we'll be the Draco Nordics. Oh, no, we're gonna get Fifth Knights. They're like, how dare you betray us? We were the OG Nordics. Like, no! Dankla on deck! Oh, it's not Dankla on deck, but Dankla on no! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Wow, fucking PK fire with Nordics, of course. So, yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> but little do you know is that I can actually summon Valkyrie, then banish these two, and summon the powerful fucking Odin on your ass. I didn't even see what he searched for. Oh, he searched for boots by banishing uh, Destiny. I mean, this Dusty Rail, and then of course he'll search for Tour Guy with Scarm. Like, it's too much, it's too much. This deck it needs to be hit. Like, ah. <laughs> Yep. Yep. So even if I do make my shit, he'll just hit me with that fucking uh, break sword and rape my booty hole. So it really doesn't matter. But I'm not gonna give up, guys, because I have the powerful. I have the Nordics on my side. Yeah, Nordics. Not including the fact that he, of course, can have backward to fuck me up. But uh, so I don't need. No, I kind of need you. I'll, I'll banish you too. Oh, yeah, now watch him just play like fucking Song Blade or something or Song Strike, and then I'll be like, I'll proceed to scoop it up. <laughs> like, he still has plays for days. I'm just being cute. Like, at this point, he's probably like, wow, fucking Nordics. Like, wow, what a challenge. Oh, I can go into fucking Leo, and he can't even target me with fucking, uh. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go into Leo. We'll go into Leo. Actually, that'd be bad, because if he has fucking, uh, his sword, he could just equip it to his Dark Law and go up to 32, and then I'll die. Like, that's not great. I, I should have probably. I mean, I'm fucked either way. I mean, come on. It's fucking. It's fucking PK fire. <laughs> like, what am I doing? <laughs> I attack. You go ahead and just flip up your sword. Increase your attack by 800. Go up to 32 and I'll die. Wings. Okay, well. You're not strong enough to beat me in battle, but you're strong enough to survive, so. And then, of course, you still have Phantom Knights and all your shenanigans. I'm not gonna play shit. You can't even target me with fucking break sword. That I means you can't even use break sword because you have nothing to target. Like, oh yeah. Mmm. I did it, guys. Oh, that's a permanent game. I, I keep on forgetting that Wings is a permanent game. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's till the end of the turn. No, it's not. <laughs> it always has the 500. It brought you destruction once, but that 500 is always there. Like, wow, I, I feel like I'm betraying Phantom. Like, they were like, we did so well with PK Nordics, and you wanted to betray us with your fucking performer pal. Like, they're hit. We're not. You can come back to us. Like, no. I can't. I need, I, I can't be milling and doing all them plays. I need, I need to bust out freaking, uh, fucking, uh, Odin 2. I can't just go into Thor. <laughs> yep. Dante dot deck. Ah, Dante needs to be hit. <laughs> Dante, like I said, Dante is turned from just burning a this, which of course needs to be hit, it's been tier 1 for too long, to just a rank 3 milling engine. Oh, there's that Regeki. So. <laughs> Unless I don't have to worry about him busting out Regeki on my ass, so that's fine. <laughs> but it's just like, wow, it's literally turned into that. Just make, Nord uh, make, make Dante mill, make Dante mill, multiple Dantes per turn mill. Like, I believe, I, I believe that uh, even OCG uh, PK Fire is still up there with only one Dante. Isn't that fucking crazy? Wow. Wow, good job leaving that Dante in a fucking tack mode. Like, I thought you'd be able to handle my fucking, uh, Leo. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, mmm. Yep, go ahead and get that Sir. Sir Graf, Sir Scarm Graf, Sir, like, Dante, Sir Graf, Sir, Farm Graf. They float, they float too, too hard. <laughs> it's too hard, the floating, the floatiness. So... I guess I should kill that Dante. Dark Law's not even a threat to me right now. Uh, Dante, of course, can be some more mill shenanigans, but of course, Dante's gonna grab him something back, and then that's just gonna be more fun. <laughs> uh, DK Fire, you you you're so floaty. Like that's like one of your best aspects is just how floaty you are. And Resar's about to ask. The Phantom Knights gets. They, they search, and the, the trap cards they summon back, and then the Burning Abyss, and then the Dante, and then the Rank 3s, 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 the rank 3s like... Oh my god. <laughs> like, am I actually gonna fucking sit here with this fucking Leo? Like, if, if I didn't go into Leo, I would've lost already. If I went into Odin, he could've just went into Breakstar, but now he can't even Breakstar my fucking Leo. Like, let's go. 
Go. What's up with this name? Like Gao Gaoyo? What does name? What is this? Like is this OCG name or something like that? Looks like it's, it's you know. All right. Summon rugged gloves. Special summon boots. Go into Bark Sword, but you only be three thousand. You're not three thousand one hundred, so it's still not strong enough. And you can't target me. Yes. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh my god, how am I giving PK Fire such a hard time? <laughs> you know, I mean, a, a monster, big old beaver that can't be targeted, I mean, come on. I'm fucking pretty much borderline fucking, uh, 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 Cosmos right now. Of course, Dark Destroyer 3000 beaver can't be targeted, they struggle against that. You know, but <laughs> you're struggling against Leo, so let's go. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna... I would say, what, you're gonna crash into me and then get your effect? Like, you can't use Rexar because you can't target something on my side of the field, so. Yep. <laughs> I might actually go ahead and Twin Twister and pop his back up. Oh, he quit! Woo! I beat PK Fire with. There we go, people! Nordics! <laughs> tier, tier 1 confirmed! <laughs> it's like, fuck it! It's like dealing with Cosmos! <laughs> can't do it. Wow. I can't believe I won. <laughs> you might have had something if you didn't use your wings to protect the, the Dark Log. Dark Log wasn't doing shit. Like, you should just held on to them wings, like, I guess. You really want to protect that Dark Log, though. So. Anyway, I'm gonna call that an episode. So there you go, people. This is Performa- Performa Pal Nordics. Perform- Performanix? Perform- I don't even know. Perform- Performa Nordics? Performa Nordics? I guess. I don't know. So, like I said, I'll probably go ahead and throw the Draco engine, because I need more Pendulum. So, Draco face off, go into Ignister, and all that fun shenanigans. I mean, of course, I can go into Ignister now, I just need, you know, a, a 200 plus of Pendulum monster, so I can go into Ignister now, but, you know, with Luster and all them fun plays, so. We'll try that out next week, we'll try that out next week. So, we're not giving up a Nordic, so you clearly see Tier 1 confirmed, let's go! Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, the ninjas. So no, no, not salty because uh, we're tagging with ninjas. We threw it, in, we upgraded ninjas. They have the uh, the uh, magician engine. Gonna transformation into Apex Avion, Pendulum Summon Apex Avion. We're gonna transform into White Dragon Ninja. Who, so you can't pop my my uh, spells and traps. You can't pop my sending scales. We got this. We got this, people. We're gonna make these decks good. All right, people. Thanks for watching.